Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a very quick video on the new DYS range of ESCs from FPVmodel.com. And basically, what you have is swap them over. A um, very small ESCs, both available in 16 amp and also 20 amp, and they're tiny as far as the footprint goes. This is what their size is like in comparison to a USB adapter. Give you a good idea of the size. So they're really quite small, very similar in form factor to the KISS ESCs. Now they come pre-flashed with Simon K on them, but I've already test flashed one of these guys with BL Heli and that went on no dramas whatsoever at all. So what we'll do is get BL Heli on these ESCs and get them up on a mini quad as soon as possible and do some flight tests with them and see exactly how they go. But they're quite competitively priced. So worthwhile having a look at these so what I'm going to do is give you a quick rundown and show you exactly how to go about uh, flashing these ESCs with BL Halley. Now the reason a lot of people are doing this at the moment is because this is a cheaper alternative to running KISS ESCs and they seem far less likely to uh, uh, catch on fire on you. So um, it's, it's a good option. So I'm going to try these out and see exactly how they go, but I'll show you exactly how I go about uh, flashing these guys with um, BL Halley. So I'll have a link in the description for these ESCs and they also have the BL Heli Suite also there within uh, the description of the video so you can click on the download and download it from there and they also have all the specifications about these ESCs. So we'll get stuck straight into flashing these guys with uh, BL Heli. So the first thing you need to do is double click on the EXE file and once you've done that you're pretty much good to go. Now what I'll be using is an ESE linker, which is pretty much the same as the Afro USB programmer. So what you'll need to do is firstly plug in the USB programmer into your computer. I'm plugging it into a MacBook at the moment and I'm running uh, Windows 7. So um, plug that in. And once you've actually plugged that in, you'll get your servo lead. Make sure you get the orientation from the servo lead that comes out of the ESC correct and plug that into the USB programmer. Now once you've actually done that what you want to do is now power the ESC. Now once you've got the ESC powered what you want to do is make sure you've selected the correct port and then click connect. Now once it's connected successfully what you want to do is click on flash BL Heli and from the flash 2 drop down select DYS 20A and that's what we want to do and then from there select multi and click OK. So what you'll get next is a warning telling you that you're about to erase this ESC and that's perfectly fine. Click on yes. And once you do that it should start writing to the ESC and while it's actually flashing it what you're looking at here at the moment is it being flashed in real time so I haven't sped this up or anything at all. We'll let it go through. And once it's done that, it's going to read the ESE back again and just confirm that it's actually written correctly. And then you get a prompt basically telling you that everything went OK. Well, hopefully you'll get a prompt telling you everything went OK. Click OK. And your ESE is now being flashed. So what you want to do, or what most of you will most likely want to do, is actually enable dampening. So what I'm doing is using Boris B's settings and there's a link to his channel in the description so be sure to check that out. And he's basically got screenshots of exactly the settings that he's using so it's, it's pretty straightforward. So the only two things you need to do is first set this to dampen light and then change this to medium high. And once you've done that you're pretty much good to go. So once you've done that, what you want to do is click on Write Setup and that will basically write to the ESC and that happens in a flash. And there you go, it's all been done. So you've basically gone through and flashed your ESC with BL Halley Suite and you've set up dampening on it. So it's pretty much good to go there. And then all you need to do is basically click on Disconnect. And once you've done that, you can uh, deep, uh, remove the power from your ESC and basically unplug it from your computer. So there you go, hope you found this video useful and uh, be sure to check out the links in the description and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.